Because the last thing you want to do in those situations, engaging with someone who's reactive, is allow them to react so much that you get to a point where you are reactive. Do you think sometimes when two people engaged in a direct interaction, they can perceive our direct truth as mistreatment or blame of them rather than pointing out the truth, a sort of denial? Denial of, of the truth um, or feeling mistreated based or, or mistreated or blamed as a result of something that someone is saying to us is often a result of us not having dealt with that thing. Much of what we receive as offense is not always something that is directed to us with the intention of attacking us. It is something that we are reacting defensively to because of some triggers in our life and our past experiences. And those are things that we need to take time to reflect upon and understand better so that they're not as triggering going forward. But that's something that you can't control. In general, when you express yourself the only thing you really have control over is your own your own expression. The only thing you can adapt is your own expression. So what you need to work on when you're expressing yourself, when I'm expressing myself, is trying to be as kind, as compassionate, watch my words, be really clear, try and remove any type of negativity or negative emotion attached to that, watch my tone, be mindful of the circumstance and the environment within which I'm communicating. Is it the best time to do that? I can control all of those things, but that's the only thing that's within my control. I cannot control someone else's reaction to what I say. That reaction is tied to their own life and their own experiences. So you can try to have a discussion, but if you find that someone is quite defensive, and lashing out against you or feeling attacked, you know, you can try and um, mediate that situation by explaining yourself, but it's very rare that the explanation is going to pass the trigger. And that's where time comes into play. And it doesn't happen for everybody. And it doesn't happen for every um, connection between people, but time is really where we grow right? You can't force that growth on anybody. It just has to come when that person's ready. And all you can do is accept it when it happens, but you can't force it. So uh, if they do misperceive what you are saying um, and misreceive it, right? Receive it poorly as mistreatment or blame or judgment or an attack, you can clarify. I'm not trying to attack you. Um, I'm not blaming you for this. This is what happened and this is how I felt. I'm sorry that you feel the way you feel about me expressing this to you. Um, you know, I just wanted you to know. I was hoping that we could find a solution. I guess we are not at a place right now where we can. I hope in the future we can. Done. Don't continue because the last thing you want to do in those situations, engaging with someone who is reactive, is allow them to react so much that you get to a point where you are reactive. Two reactive people is, is a formula, is a recipe for disaster and more things being said or done to regret, to then apologize for, to then forgive. So if you can avoid that, that's probably the best case. Again, not everything that needs to be spoken, that needs to be communicated, needs to happen now in this absolute moment. It doesn't have to. You got to pace yourself. You got to time things. Everything in life is about timing. You know, we know that in more ways than one. So time those things. And if you start to see that your timing might be incorrect, that and timing is not just about, oh, is this a quiet place to talk? Timing is also about where people are in their lives. So if you see somebody starting to be very reactive, then clearly the timing is not correct for them. They are not in a place to receive whatever it is that you're saying, and they're not in a place to necessarily discuss that. So you can decide, you can figure out when that time is more appropriate, but um, give it a chance if it's worth it to you. And if not, listen, not every relationship has to, not every relationship or friendship has to last for life. Some people are in your life 
for a lot shorter period of time than others. And all you can do is really enjoy the moments that you have with people. And when they're no longer around, have a good memory of it, but stop holding on and trying to force that uh, extension of that relationship the way it was where it no longer is. Thank you.